Get me going. You know how I get going. Well, oh Chase, just talk about the experience here. You got on the podium for another time at World Indoors. What was it like? Really good. You know, I, it was better than I thought. I almost didn't compete today, so I'm pretty excited. Um, like, it's way better than I ever could have thought it would be. I know, like, most people would be like, oh, like, you're world champion, like, but this was, like, quite a lot for me because I had to change my technique last minute and stuff because, um, what happened to me yesterday, so I'm pretty, pretty, I'm really happy. Like, I'm so happy. What happened yesterday? I, I hurt my groin in practice, um, and it, it was really hard, I think more mentally because I was, I got a little discouraged, like, right away because you immediately go, like, the world is ending, you know, <laughs> like you come to worlds. But then I think I, I even cried in the warm-up area just because I felt like frustrated. And I just talked to my coach and we were like, all right, let's just change the entry, like slow it down, keep it quite light and just do what you can do. And it, it turned out okay. And for such a steep competition, I'm really happy with how it went. Was there any fear like with Paris on the horizon of making things worse by going out there competing with that? That or? was a big issue. Like that was what I was worried about. But I talked obviously I talked to my medical staff, they're really good and and they wouldn't have let me go out there if they thought it would have done anything and with the with what they're thinking it is, it I don't think it would have been a difference. So they were like, just kinda of play it like if you start feeling this or that, then obviously just stop. Yep. But I didn't, it felt fine. Um but yeah, they they're really good about that. They they had me ready as well last night that, you know, they were like, I just were trying to mentally prepare you for maybe not being able to compete. But, you know, I, I figured it out and I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. It, it. I think it hurts more now. It didn't really hurt when I was competing, but there's there's always in the back of your head, there's no way you can go full out is there when you know something's wrong. Yeah, I was going to say, like, as you're going through the rounds, were you thinking, like, oh, I'm a little bit worried or were you locked into the competition? I feel I was, I was pretty locked in and, like, I'm... I'm, I was like feeling good. It didn't really hurt. It's starting to hurt now, I think, because the adrenaline wears off. But like, I felt super good. But I just know subconsciously, like I could tell in in the way my throws were that I wasn't doing all I could do. And you know, you can only go out and do as much as you can, you know. But um, regardless, like the girls did so good, and it was nice to even just be part of that. So I'm happy with that. You kinda, Another 220s over for an indoor chance, just like last time. Pretty excited. You kind of addressed it. You sound like you're kind of gratified that you made it through, you did the competition, you were kind of impaired and, and performed anyway. Yeah. I think that, like I said, like I think um, I was telling my coach, like I'm more happy that I was able to, like, I was probably like the most excited bronze medalist you'll, you'll ever see because I was just like, oh my God, like I was able to change my throw the night before and even the day of and I was able to like make it work. So like, to me, that showed me a lot of like my development as an athlete and going into Paris, that confidence I think is important.